catch car put Ryan Russell in the position of kill or be killed. Ryan Russell was killed. He knew Ryan Russell was a police officer, said Christine McGoy, so he's guilty of first degree murder. The prosecution answered to the defense theory that Kashkar was in a psychotic state at the time and therefore not criminally responsible by pointing out to the jury that you can suffer from a mental illness and still be responsible for criminal acts. But Goy pointed to the video taken from Russell's police cruiser dashboard, lights flashing for 37 seconds, chasing the stolen plow up Avenue Road. But when Kachkar turned the plow around to face Russell, she told jurors, this was not a deer suddenly jumping out in front of you on the highway. Kachkar drove towards the flashing lights, smashing into the police car, killing the police officer who was trying to arrest the driver. McGoy told the jury, we agree he suffered from a mental disorder of some kind, but it's a matter of degree. We suggest Mr. Kachkar was criminally responsible for killing Ryan Russell. And the judge said to the jurors that it is the defense's job to prove not criminally responsible, the Crown's job to prove murder beyond a reasonable doubt. We'll go to the jury on Monday. I'm Austin Delaney at the courthouse. Michelle? Thank you, Austin. A Toronto police officer walked away from a crash this afternoon with minor injuries. It happened on Kingston Road near Morningside. Two other cars were involved, though the cruiser had the most damage. Paramedics say the officer was conscious and alert, Move it, ma'am. Complaining of some neck and back pain. No word on what caused the crash. A Toronto family buried a son last summer. He was shot and killed in that wild shooting at the Eaton Centre in June. And now they'll have to bury another son. Senior News John Musselman is in the Carlton Journalist yeah. with more on Toronto's latest shooting. John. Uh, Ken, this is